three, two, one. Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, coldest podcast in all the Midwest. I'm Miles, You Betcha Guy here with Ryan, the t-shirt guy. We are presented by Ice Mountain. We are in the studio rocking and rolling, yes, folks. Tyler is back. Were you here last I episode? Was. Yep. Full strength. <laughs> no, it's just, just I'm back again. Yep. It's, he's still here uh-huh. from the last episode. Ryan is here. So yeah, I've just been sitting here the whole time. Just waiting. Week later. Yep. <laughs> All the lights are off. You're just sitting yep. there. <laughs> it's crazy the amount of work you can get done from your phone. You know, you know what's also crazy? Also, I don't have a charger, though, so I ran out from phone batteries six days ago. You know what's crazy, Ryan? What's that? We got this new building that we moved into, and we can't figure out the goddamn heat. Well, will be the cool. Yeah, I think it's the first heating system they've ever installed into a commercial building. It's what it feels like. <laughs> so it's understandable. I can't get it figured there, out, you know. I don't think since this we've gone into this building, there hasn't been where it has worked across the board. Not once. Nope. And it's it's kind of like whack-a-mole, really, is what we're dealing with with our HVAC system. Earlier this week, my office was 65 degrees, even though it was set at 70. Mm-hmm. If the rest of the heat in the building wouldn't have been working, it had been 58 degrees in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Door so open. then the guy comes to fix that. And now this room, which was working great, is 79 it was it was 81 earlier so it's we (laughs) just yeah it was 81 in here and currently it's 78 right now it says 80 so (laughs) so it's 80 degrees in here right now it's like we're on the beach in florida it's like we're back in the old shop where it was like 86 87 at times so can't figure out that in the warehouse it was 58 degrees yep uh between 56 and 59 (laughs) <laughs> usually when you come in in the morning yeah so if you like all the four seasons just walk to this building yeah yeah you yeah. literally like depending on where your meeting is at you have to either bring your winter coat or your tank top <laughs> yeah you're, you're putting out job descriptions you can't even put climate controlled facility yeah anymore. we it's literally not climate control can't even, climate. We lots can't, of people look for that too in, i know in my right mind i can't put that on a job application saying that we are climate controlled. <laughs> no you'd be lying you can't lie on we it. are controlled by the climate is what it is it's opposite <laughs> yeah if you're looking for a, a that wasn't a typo. controlled by the climate work <laughs> this is your spot yeah Not a typo. could create some confusion too you still get people in the door you know right so as long as there's some verbiage about climate con- control yeah yeah by something mother nature at this point yeah so uh we've been here almost three months too well, yeah. ni- almost 90 days. We're just constant HVAC whack-a-mole yep. is what we're... <laughs> and the project manager for this place is so sick of me. It's a point now where I don't even text him and tell him what's wrong. I just send him a photo of the thermostat. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. It's straight to the point, though. You know, why beat around the bush after 90 days and you just get right to it? You know? Yeah, you know how much... I mean, if I was typing out an explanation every time, I probably waste an hour and a half a week well, yeah, if for it's 50, how much it's going on. If it's 58 degrees, you can't even move your fingers and type out a text. It's true. <laughs> so it work at the pickup. Yeah. <laughs> so we should, we should we should take one of those thermostat photos and Photoshop like 101 on it. <laughs> send it, send it <laughs> to them. And they'd be like, oh my God, I'm going to get those guys over there right now. It's 101 in there. <laughs> Don't toast you. Quit, <laughs> grab the like, fire extinguisher. Dunk your head in water and send him a <laughs> selfie like you're sweating. <laughs> yeah. It, you should wait until the building is working because eventually it will be working. We don't uh, know. Yeah, we, we don't true. know. If we're here for 20 years, we could be doing this run around <laughs> for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, at uh, this rate, it's never even, there hasn't even been a glimmer of hope. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, I think I, it's safe to say that you text probably text a project manager more about issues than, than I you text do your own Anne. wife. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I text the project manager more <laughs> than I text Ann. Need an HVAC on retainer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, We're gonna have to hire an, a resident HVAC person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, either that or one of you guys is gonna have to go to the fucking. You're gonna have to go to a two year two year college. School. Yeah, trade school. Two year trade college to learn HVAC <laughs> would probably be more time efficient than yeah. having to have them come back and forth. Yeah. Maybe just a minor in HVAC. It's to the point where it's like when you guys show up for work, 
you just it's like they're one of our co-workers now no, between honestly, the hvac and the electrical yeah how often they're here it's like they might as well come to our company meetings yeah, yeah. they'll get a christmas card yeah well, yeah i almost asked one of them this morning if they had like an envelope and a stamp i could borrow <laughs> yeah you need to send something Can I get a cup of sugar <laughs> <laughs> they got one of them nice pens that we had laying around anywhere isn't that be funny? So, they just start moving into one of our empty desks. Well, they might as well just post, <laughs> an, post a, a satellite office up here. Yeah. You're mm-hmm. going to be here every day. <laughs> Get them on the Wi-Fi. And we, I mean, we got passwords being thrown all over the place. Guy told me a password the other day. He's like, yeah. So if, if you can't, if you don't remember the password, you can't reset it. And the company will tell you that, that they can't do anything about it. So you have to like, okay, a whole well, new unit. Yeah. He told me like the back corner of the building too. I'm like, Okay. Well, we had a pa- uh, thermostat password fiasco today as well. Unbelievable. Because <laughs> there's a formula that they do. I won't say it. I don't want anyone breaking in and uh, fucking with the thermostat. God, dude, <laughs> don't, dude, fucking take all the equipment. Just don't fuck with the thermostats. Yeah. Don't make like, it worse. We did like an inconvenient burglar thing a while ago. Like what they would just come in and do something inconvenient. That would be at the top of to the change, list. To, to put your thermostat at 60 degrees or 90 degrees and then lock it with a different password. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. That gosh. would be terrible. <laughs> The but then again, how would it be any different than what we're experiencing now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I started having dreams where I can't I can't remember the uh the thermostat password. I wake up sweating. I'm like, ah oh, fuck, I better go check the thermostat. It must be hot. Gotta turn here. that down. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're sleeping at work? No, I'm kidding. No, he's been in here for seven days. Uh, no, the old locker code dream where you forget your locker combo. It's now turning into the thermostat combo. Right. I can't remember anymore. Like, I should really get back to oh, work. Oh, I, yeah. I had that the other day. My kids have like a daycare. You have to punch in a code to get in. I just forgot the code. And so I felt like everyone's like, well, this guy's trying to break into the fucking daycare right now. And I just kept punching the code in wrong. Do you just end up talking? That was a dream or that was real It was life? real. Oh. And then eventually another parent came in and I just walked in behind them. And I was like, well, now I'm going to get kicked out because I got, I clearly don't know the code and I'm in this daycare now. Yeah. Did they kick you out? No. It's terrible security at this daycare. Yeah. And that parent, that <laughs> What's parent's the point? fully liable. Yeah. What's yeah. the point? So you're telling me that Jake can just go hang outside of daycares, mm-hmm. and just get in whenever he wants? Big time That's hole in dream. security. Because he likes it. reading books to children, guys. Mm-hmm. Relax. <laughs> yeah, he likes playing on the on the teeter totter in the P rock. <laughs> Except the, for yeah, anyways. he's a big seesaw guy. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. so we're in the fight of our life. You guys, thoughts and prayers to us mm-hmm. as we struggle through this uh, trying time <laughs> in this brand new building, nice office. It's really tough. So <laughs> you guys should be thinking about us. Yeah. T's and P's for us. Um, and maybe one of the HVAC squad is listening to this podcast. Guys, can we figure it out? <laughs> this is I'm not gonna I'm not gonna confront you in person. I just I live in the Midwest. I'm not doing that. So no, this is my on. indirect way of telling you guys to figure your shit out. Well, you know what they say about fixing HVAC systems, right? Really blows. Oh, yeah. It's really easy. blows. It's easier said than done. Okay. Ooh. No. That one, it's... <laughs> no. Fuck that. school for it, dude. Well, again, this is the first heating and cooling system it's like, we've ever installed. So it would... I mean, basically, it's like... My job is to shoot content. Mm-hmm. It would be like if we went to a video shoot and we didn't shoot anything... <laughs> That's happened before. But then saying, what a great video we shot today. Can't wait to post it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like you just didn't do it. Mm -hmm. So. And I'm all like, hey, you guys know me. I'm a big supporter of the blue collar squad. But guys, you got to help me out here. Burn it up. Yeah. It's. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, we might just have to sub it out on our own. I'd YouTube some stuff. I we can't could make, YouTube I can't it, yeah. make it any worse. Mm. Yeah, we could, we could YouTube it. <laughs> make it worse. <laughs> Fucking Ryan punches one thing in on the thermostat and it just instantly goes to 100. <laughs> uh, I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble replacing the shower head in my bathroom, let alone looking at an HVAC system. You're like, ah, yeah. The thing is, is like we had less HVAC issues 
in the bunker 1.0 in the garage unit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were able to control the temperature in that place better than we are here. Yeah, big time. <laughs> yeah. We set a makeshift AC unit with styrofoam. Mm hmm. Saved a lot of money. Yeah. And never had to eat the place. Ryan. Yep. You know what's easier said than done? Staying hydrated. That is true. That is true. It wasn't what I was going to go with, <laughs> but I like that one better. So we're going to go with that one. Okay. It is. It's sometimes tough staying hydrated. You know what makes it just a little bit easier? Fill me in. Sucking down an ice cold ice mountain. Out of the squirt bottle, especially. Ready? Too. I feel like Drew oh, Brees getting a water break out of TV timeout. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? He always, you know, he have his helmet like half cocked. And then he would have his elbow. Oh, yeah. There was a buddy I worked with at my dad's company. He, he noticed that. And so every single time that we would get a drink of water at work, he would do the elbow up high. <laughs> Drew Brees. Google That's Drew hilarious. Brees. Google Drew Brees drinking water. Drew Brees ice mountain. He'd, be like He'd always go like this. <laughs> uh, give me a picture of him drinking out of water. Weird. Bottle. There's not a lot of results for this. <laughs> Got to be something. Okay. Nothing. Yeah. You guys ever get a chance to see Drew Brees drink? You got to take it in. It's <laughs> take it in. Like, elbow is unbelievably high. Look up Drew Brees water break. Uh, break water <laughs> still nothing that's a you you got to get some if you're thirsty you got to get someone to come in and squirt water squirt some ice mountain in your mouth we gotta get a water boy in the office yeah just runs around with ice mountain all the time yeah he's got a whole he's got like a like a nine bottle holster of ice mountain yeah you can have a whole station set up he he's always tinkering with the temperature of it and then we all make fun of him. Yeah. Hey, what a boy. Yeah. And then it turns you out he's suck. really good at content. Yeah. He's like yeah. a really good podcaster. And one time he gets mad and just angrily podcasts and <laughs> does really well. Yeah. So then we have him actually podcast. And then we make fun of his water choices and we use it as his podcast and fuel. Yeah. But we would never make fun of his water choice because he would only choose mm -hmm. Ice Mountain and we love Ice Mountain. We more so would just make fun of how he talks. Yeah, but we don't believe it. We just tell him Gatorades is is better as yeah. as fuel for his, him to his, get angry. His mom kept telling him that those other companies are the devil. Yeah, <laughs> well they are, but Ice Mountain's not. It's an angel. So guys, go drink it. So, anyways, I'll get off get off of that. Yeah, I was just trying to segue into this. this I know. Thing. Yeah. But Jared, what are we talking about today? Uh stuff that's easier said than done. Stuff that's easier said than done. Not HVAC systems. No, no. god no. That shit should be easy to do if you say it. <laughs> Especially if you're saying to me that it's all good. <laughs> It'd be funny if the HVAC guy came in during the podcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, <laughs> like surprised. we would have to give him yeah. a mic. We yeah. actually were live. He's probably here. He's going to pop. I mean, if it's 100 in there, he's going to pop it eventually. Also, our HVAC guy, he's always got one AirPod in. <laughs> yeah. That's what the kids are doing these days. Really? I, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, one AirPod Pro. So is he listening to like a podcast or a radio or yeah, a music or something? You bet your radio, and he's going to have a real <laughs> shitty day when he sees this. <laughs> I understand he's a great guy. Yeah. But yeah, let's fun to chat with. Let's just do the job correctly. <laughs> let's dial it in. Yeah. So, anyways, anyways, anyways. <laughs> Stuff that's easier said than done. I got one for you guys. Okay. Ooh. It's easier said than done to just go to the bar and have a couple beers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Going yeah. to the bar saying, all right, I'll just have a couple. To me, it's like almost like you kind of either have to, it's a little bit all or nothing sometimes. I mean, I think it's downright impossible to go and just have a couple. I've done it. How much restraint did you have to use? I mean, it was like. Have you ever. Like imagine someone's eyeballs popping out of their socket. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done it without that help? Like, have you ever gone in there? Without somebody being like, all right, Miles, we have to go. <laughs> if Anne is not there, my chances of doing <laughs> this go down dramatically. I, I've witnessed <laughs> it. If your wife is there, 
you at least have a little checks and balances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If there is no said wife in the picture at the moment, inhibition goes way down. Yeah. (laughs) Or you just, you know, coordinate to drive separate. So if they, you know, when they want to leave, they can leave you and you you can stay because I I know you have no restraint when it comes to that. (laughs) There have been times where I've gone out with Becca and she just left me at the bar and I had to Uber home because I wasn't ready to leave. I mean, I mean, there's always a third party involved. It's not just the two of us. Why is it just in Midwesterners DNA that they just, they just have to have more than a couple beers because it's like, what happens? What happens? I don't know. We just get too into the moment and we're too afraid. to. uh, Honestly, though, we're having a good time. That's I mean, that's what it is. You don't want to leave a good time because we're not here for a long time. Well, what's the harm in it? I mean, as long as you're not driving home, what's the harm? I agree. There is no harm, I yeah. don't think. And I think maybe that's the reason. Yeah, then after a couple of beers, that's when you start to get comfortable at the bar. Yeah. 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 You, you, finally, you finally take your coat off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You know, you're. Uh, take your keys out of your wall. Like your, all your stuff out of your pockets onto the table. Well, then <laughs> at some point, you eat some sort of salty appetizer, yep. which mm-hmm. then mm-hmm. makes you parched and you need more beverage well, yep. you maybe jump into a basket of pull tabs and yeah jump you gotta have a, a beer for pulling all those yeah well, good or bad yeah and then by the time you got a couple in like your next song's probably up on touch tunes yeah, you have you to wait around. yeah. well and the well, game it, is just getting good also <laughs> yeah. like let's say you were standing at a bar you're just gonna stand at a in a bar like this For our audio only folks, Miles' mic just tipped over and knocked a beer over. <laughs> right, nothing Am there. I just going to stand like this at the bar? Audio, uh, quick audio visual. Just standing straight up, hands to the sides, nothing in his hand. Not not in pockets either. No. Right. Nope. He looks like a kid. Or am I going to stand like this? Way yeah, see, that's way better. cooler. That's yep. way cooler. <laughs> and I mean, usually- Or like this. <laughs> That's not gonna fly. Not smiling or anything. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, what? You probably get kicked out of the bar at that point. To be honest, it's like, what is this creepy guy doing without anything in his hands? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and by the time you have a couple, like, like, what are you supposed to do with your hands if you aren't drinking a beer at the bar? I don't know. You got to be have them in your pockets, right? Stick them in your pants. Yeah. Yeah. You just, <laughs> just shove your hands down your pants. <laughs> Anyways, I just arms folded. I feel like that's a lot easier said than done than just yeah. going and having a couple. So here's my rebuttal to it. There's not been many times where I've said it and actually meant it either. Yeah, I suppose if I really that's think true. about it, I don't yeah. think I've ever said it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want to you head out and uh, head out for a lot. Yeah, you want to go get a bunch of beers. <laughs> you want to head to the out. bar for like a couple 13, 14 <laughs> beers. Yeah. You want to black out tonight? Yeah, we, yeah, we can maybe go up there for one or 12. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Have you guys ever gotten a text like that from a buddy? What? Like, the- uh, I got a buddy in mind. He always says, are you down to clown and black out tonight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, in college. I've not sure. gotten a text like that, but. Yeah. Just getting that text, it raises my heart rate. By at least 20 beats. Per Enjoy minute. your fear. <laughs> Excitement. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like, like a little nervous. It doesn't matter if we're actually going to get blackout drunk, which probably doesn't happen as much anymore. Mm-hmm. But it's just the mentality that you have. And the, the mentality of like, I am now submitting to that this could happen. And there's a thrill in that. Mm hmm. It's like the journey is more fun than the destination. Yeah, Yeah. it's all about just like we may end up there, we may not, but I am going to let this night take me wherever it needs. (laughs) Yeah, we're going to let Jesus take the wheel. Yeah, Yeah, let Let go, go, let let God God at that point. (laughs) I love the idea of this. Yeah, getting the you down to clown text is always great. (laughs) I'll 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 hail the Lord Calvert. Mm Hmm. What about sure. you, Ryan? What's easier said than done for you? I'd say one thing that's easier said than done is stopping on the side of the road to help somebody out that's having like car troubles. <laughs> yeah. Being a helpful neighbor. Yeah. And you know, whether, just being a helpful neighbor, neighbor in general is a lot easier said than done. Yeah. So and it's, me, I mean, 
sorry, go ahead. Uh, for me, it's kind of the opposite. I always talk a big game. Like, I'm not going to help her snowblow her driveway. That's her driveway. She can figure it out. And then I end up snowblowing her fucking driveway. Well, for me, it's like, oh, we got some new neighbors in the neighborhood. We should go over and introduce ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no chance on that. It's like, that's oh, that's so much easier said than done. Well, Because then you, yeah. you are quite literally standing on the front step with your hands at your sides and nothing in them. Unless it's a peach cobbler. Well, you would bring over a peach cobbler. Yeah, yeah but there's two of you. Like, it, there's going to be one person not holding it. So then that's where the awkwardness in my mind Well, then what play. I'm doing is, you know, this, if you ring a doorbell, you have to turn around the other way. Right. Yeah. Look around the yard. Yeah. yeah. You, you, if you ring a doorbell and just stand staring at the door, that's crazy. You have to ring it, turn around and just like look around. Wait, wait. Yeah. You're doorbell. like doing a full 180 and back to the door. Yeah. yeah. Usually. Yeah. 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 You got to check out like the brick on the, on the porch or I'm going to do like a 90 up. degree turn. I don't, yeah, I don't side think profile. I, yeah. You're a side profile guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm for sure not standing at the door staring at it all creepy, <laughs> but I'm not. I usually go full. like this in the windows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see you in there. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Better put some pants on. Hey, knock, knock. It's your neighbor. Yeah. What are you doing in there? <laughs> yeah. you. Why are you looking at my dinghy? <laughs> yeah. I was getting nervous when people knock on my door. Really? You live yeah. in an apartment. Right. That I would just, be crazy to knock on an apartment yeah. door. It could be the tow truck too coming to get your car. Because <laughs> yeah, thank God. Hey, dude, <laughs> someone offered you 200 bucks for your car on Patreon. It's worth so much more. I though. forget the name. Would you rather have one bird in the hand or two in the bush? Right, two in the bush. So you have zero money then. <laughs> the opportunity to get two though. You had 200 bucks in your hand, Jared. I don't but I've sunk in like 700 bucks into it. It's the sunk cost fallacy. Cut your losses. That's a wrong way to think about it, Jared. But I could make more if I, yeah. You've already you lost. The, you already hey, spent that money. It easier doesn't said, exist anymore. Easier said than done. <laughs> Jared getting car. money for his car. Yeah. Sell the car in general. Easier said than done. <laughs> it's very it's true. Very true. <laughs> it's selling anything is way easier said than done. Right. It's like uh, selling anything for a fair price. It's like, said like done. Yeah. Those, all those like eBay flippers online. You're right? sitting next to one. But like they'll be like they'll pick up a fucking they'll pick up a nut button at a garage. God, it's second beer. It's the second beer that's tipped over. Jeez, miles. They'll pick up a nut button at a garage sale and they'll be like, they'll look it up online. They'll be like, $8, book it, done. <laughs> That's an $8 Already right sold there. that. And then I bet it just sits in their queue to sell guys, forever. Guys, the yeah. HVAC dude is looking through the podcast door. I swear to God. Should we get him in here? Yep. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. You get uh, give us an audio visual. Yeah, a little uh, toasty. He's just messing with the thermostat. <laughs> we and, just looked at it, so now it's fixed. Yep. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah, holy, holy, holy shit <laughs> were you scared tyler we are no i just we are I, all talk i could not believe the fact that we called it and he did it Is Is it degrees now? no he just looked at it. he's like wow it's toasty in here <laughs> <laughs> i think he's in the pro he's, he's, well no he he's looked at it on. so it's fixed now. he can fucking hear us he's up in the ceiling he's he working hear on us. it i don't think he can <laughs> i mean he's not walking up walking on the fall on the false ceiling do you guys see his airpod I always uh, look at yeah, shit. Yeah, as a pro too. So if he wants to tune somebody out, he just turns to the noise canceling side. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I got to turn around. I, I can't hear you. <laughs> so anyways. Sorry to derail. What? <laughs> Selling a car. Selling anything. You're talking to eBay flippers. Yeah. Oh yeah. That just, they're never going to sell that item, but they just say because one other person ever sold it, that they're going to sell it. Well, that's how you got to be smart about it though. Ryan does a lot of eBay flipping these days. Yeah. I don't have stuff sip for more than like two weeks. Yeah. But it's, it's sports cards. Yeah. Sports. That's where you go and buy sports cards, sports cards. Yeah. Video games. Same thing. Kind of, it's it's a hot spot for Mm -hmm. buy. Workout uh, bikes. Yeah. Like like this dice cup, I, I would easily sell that for like fifty four probably fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> the seller's visual fourteen ninety nine is better than fifteen. The mm-hmm. Description used by the you betcha guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> One ninety nine ninety nine. You betcha guy spilt beer on it. <laughs> <laughs> dice not included. Um yeah. What was your original one? 
Uh, well, I said what's easier said than done is is like if someone's on the side of the road having car troubles, oh, yeah. stopping and helping them. Yeah. So like, has anyone in this room ever stopped and helped someone? Like, other than like in your neighborhoods helping push someone out of the snowbank. Other than that, like you've been on a public, like busy road. Have you ever stopped to help? Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. Never have. I want to, but I don't. I, I have a few times, like how I've helped change a tire, or I, why one time I helped, I didn't really help. I was like, "Yeah, your car's not going to move. Do you need a ride?" And then I gave them a ride to the gas station to go get gas. That's crazy. And then I gave them a ride back to their car to fill their car up. Yeah, no one's hopping in my car unless I know them. Yeah. No, like I would I, give someone a ride. I just <laughs> I don't have time. <laughs> I just. <laughs> You know, it's like weird when I like blaze by him. <laughs> my like rear view mirror like cranks to the side and I can't even see out of it. Yeah, well, it ha- just happens to be there. It's like, like weird, like my side mirrors fold in. <laughs> yeah, or like you look off to Dude. your right and there's a huge buck standing in the field. You're like, God, that's well, a nice deer. <laughs> so here's where I'm at. If someone truly needed my help, they would be waving me down Mm -hmm. because I've gotten, I've had to like pull over and had some shit go wrong. And I've already called someone that's coming to assist me to then have a stranger come and try and help. Now I now have to do small talk with this stranger. They're going to try and over help that I don't need them to do. It's just now a whole new element. I already have a car that's not working, and now I have to babysit someone <laughs> yeah. who helped me on the side of the road. And I know that doesn't sound very Midwest to me, but unless it's like, yeah, you know what I mean? No, I know exactly well, what you mean. I've like never done 20 it. 20 years ago when everyone didn't have a cell phone on them, like that's a great thing yeah. to do. But now it's like I can call my brother and he can come mm-hmm. and pick me up. Yeah. Like both Triple instances I. of me helping someone on the side of the road, it's was back home where I know every person in the entire town. That's different. Yeah, and like, different, I don't, yeah. I didn't know these people like super well, but I knew who they were. Didn't yeah. you give a hitchhiker a ride? To yeah, that was, that was different though. He wasn't broken down on the side of the road. He was just walking there. I mean, really he was probably broken down on the side of the road. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Broken down crime. Yeah, maybe he told me to bring him to work at an elementary school and I did. Yeah, we know. Yeah. So that, <laughs> I mean, I also don't want to encounter that situation. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I just like, but, like when at our old office, there was an apartment across the road. People were getting stuck in the snowbank, going and helping mm-hmm. pushing those people. Yeah, that, that was no a hip hip. But to pop open the hood and see what's going on with the carburetor. <laughs> I yeah, I, just, also, we know when to stay in our own lane. That we, is true. It's we like, we I, don't know cars. For sure. <laughs> fucking. You start fixing shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really it. It's, yeah. it's like on Dumb and Dumber when he plugs the toilet and he opens up the back of it yeah. and just starts throwing shit out. That would be me <laughs> underneath the hood of a car. Yeah. They, they, I know nothing yeah. about cars. They get worse. Right away, they're clearly like, yeah, I just ran out of gas. You got a, a battery pack jumper cable to the back. You hook it up to the battery. Like, I don't know. He's probably out of gas. You maybe jump some more gas into that tank. <laughs> Yeah, when was, when was the last time you got the oil changed? I, I think it's it's flooded. I think you got too much oil in it. You might want to dump some of that out. Check yeah, out hyper fluid. Yeah, you got it in gear or you got it in park. <laughs> you know, this is yeah. You got the e brake on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you been driving with the parking brake? And if as long as you, because if they're like, oh, I called someone, it's like, yeah, well, we're waiting. Let me just check on it. If you just ask enough questions and filibuster long enough, that person will show up and take care of it. And sure. it looks like you help. Yeah. Well, let's see if it turns over quick. Hop in there. Yeah. Give it a shot. <laughs> oh, do it one more time. I, I got to... <laughs> I think I got to beat him. What that noise is? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like the starter. It's just clicking. It's not even. It's not even turning over. Yeah, and what? What do you got to? Do you have a starter in the back of your truck that you can just throw in there quick, get it going? Yeah, or, no. You know what? If you go down to fucking Napa, they'll, they'll get you a starter real quick. So I think that's it. And he's like, I can't drive there. I don't have a car. Yeah. What? I was like, do you know the code? You know the issue of the code? I feel yeah. like they just talk about codes a lot. Right. Yeah. yeah it's, just, well, it's like it's like when Michael Scott is doing the video showing his future son how to jump a car. And he's like, you take the red one and you just stick it anywhere on the engine. Yeah. You take the black one and stick that anywhere on the engine. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, things easier said than done. 
uh, invading Russia in the winter. There's a World War II joke for you. Nice. Uh, I mean, you are right. Why? Because it's such a cold war. Yeah. Hey. Cold. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have one for real. Easier said than done is getting a good night's sleep. I, and that's true because yeah. if I know one thing about sleeping, the more you want it, the less you can have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're going in with that's the attention, really that's what I try to do before I, I try to not fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. So I'm shitty about it. Yeah. No, I'm not. I, yeah. I literally sit there with my arms crossed. I go, I'm not falling asleep. That's like, <laughs> next thing you know, 30 seconds later, I'm sawing logs. Yeah. And then you're just like, uh huh, gotcha. Yeah. Whenever mm -hmm. I've had anesthesia, um, like just get like a like tooth surgery or something like that. Um, or like tonsils, whatever. I'll try and the fight the surgery. anesthesia. I'm a, I'm not gonna go to sleep. I think dentists. We'll need we could sit here all day, and you can pump me full of gas. I ain't going to sleep. Dentists or ten seconds later, boom, gone. Works every time. Works every time. Dentists and orthodontists need to rebrand as tooth surgeons. Yeah. Well, I I had like six or eight teeth removed at one time. Had to get put down or put under for it, not put, put down. down. So, <laughs> Wait a second. So how many teeth do you have? Oh, these are all like these are all like baby teeth at the time. Why did you have to get them removed? I don't. This it was like I was like ten years old. About practice. Ten or twelve years old. Six or eight teeth. How? My 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 grandpa's probably still got them in one of them little plastic <laughs> plastic deals. Would we can make a necklace out of them? <laughs> you could, yeah. Like a shark tooth. Yeah, necklace. like a shark tooth necklace, like but it would be my baby teeth. <laughs> it's just Ryan's molar. <laughs> yeah. Bring them in. I'll see if I still got them. Yeah, I'll see those. I got my dog's teeth that he I lost. I to we say, they probably together. had to make room Some for those eBay. fucking chompers I got, to come in. I got big teeth. Probably, yeah, it probably wasn't enough room. Yeah. How many, how many teeth does the average human have? 32. 40? 32. Okay, we got mm. three different answers here. I have 36. <laughs> I have my wisdom teeth still. No, 30, uh, 32 is counting the wisdom teeth. Mm. 90 teeth does. I, I swear to Wait, God. Why do you know that? 32. 32. You want to know oh. how I know that? Chip Skylark. Ah. Fairly odd parents. Mm. In the song, he says he's got 32. And shiny teeth in me. Mm -hmm. I probably got about 24. I have 28. I got four wisdom teeth removed. Me too. Me as well. <laughs> so six teeth, huh? Six or eight, ten or twelve years old. <laughs> About seven. Yeah, you just read between the lines. <laughs> he you was get it. he was out for like six to eight hours. Yeah, yeah, put, yeah. Put, two or three hours. Uh, yeah. So I there's no fighting that. Also, I remember when I woke up, I tried to give the doc knocks, just like make it lighthearted, like thanks for the surgery, doc. And he did, he totally just looked away. When I woke up from yeah. my wisdom tooth surgery, I was paranoid of why there was so much gunk on my lips because they put the Vaseline on. Oh there. yeah, mm. and I fucking touched my lips, and it was like on there, and I freaked out. That's yeah. all I remember. Am I a fucking wax figure now? So, <laughs> Jared, what about you? I think selling a car is probably the hardest thing that's either said than done very very uh prox <laughs> proximate to what you're doing hey, HVAC, HVAC. Yeah. he's back he's, he's got he's got the laser, laser gun the, did, he, did he laser it mm -hmm. well, what, what do you say he said it's going to take a few minutes but it should be fixed okay, so well, i can't you judge that what room in this office do you think is now blazing hot or super cold yeah probably the bathroom Imagine the bathroom was 85 degrees. Trying to take a dump in there. I think fucking, that's fine. You fucking sit down on the toilet seat and you just slip right off because <laughs> someone sweat from the <laughs> shit before. It's got like condensation on it, like a beer can. Yeah, I forgot to wipe it off. You put rhino liner. Yeah, it's on it's it not piss. Slip. It's just yeah. sweat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Hey, maybe that's on market. Rhino liner toilet seats. <laughs> yeah, the no slip rhino lining. <laughs> put flex seal on it. Flex seal. You can Something. do a gritty powder coat. Yeah. Something like that. Mm hmm epoxy like a garage floor yeah yeah the, the speckled epoxy <laughs> yeah, yeah it'd be kind of sick actually on the same vein so you got the no slip toilet seat they should be having toilets with hand like they should yeah 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 with like hand grips on the side just yep. in case it gets crazy you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh shit handles. Yeah. Oh, sh oh literally oh yeah. shit handles for your toilet. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah. Imagine imagine pairing those with a like a squatty potty. Like how efficient you'd oh, be man. taking a colon. It would just fly out of it. Yeah. 
You talk about flush in a colon. <laughs> it would actually be kind of nice when you're on the toilet to not have an oh shit handle on the toilet, but just an oh shit handle just on the wall. You know, you just yeah. like in the car, you just have your one arm like up like it's comfortable. That. We kind of got one of them with the handicap, uh, the handicap yeah, higher. Yeah, like the up and down bar sure. next to it. <laughs> yeah, but we need one directly overhead. <laughs> in like in like two years, you you look at the handicap railing, and it's just like it's just worn. <laughs> it's worn for like a, like a, the grip of a hand. Right. Yeah. yeah. And it's not like just like a regular grip. It's like fucking Clutch. like you're holding on for two <laughs> like white knuckle grip. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Jesus Christ, who's been using this thing? <laughs> Lots of people. <laughs> Used I feel like years. every time we say one of the things that's easier said than done, something happens and we get derailed. Yeah. So you want to sell your car. Right. <laughs> it's tough. You haven't even tried. I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. So it's, it's not hard. even selling the car. It's yeah. listing a car for sale is easier said than done. Right. And I, hate- I would agree because you got to clean it. You then got to get all the photos. You got to. Honestly, finding out details about an old car of what year it was, mm-hmm. how many miles are on it. Yeah, and I dread like the the future small talk with complete strangers about selling the car. Have Ryan do it. Give him a commission. Yeah, that's a good point. Ryan will have the thing. Yeah, sold just I'll week. just look at the the marketplace listing. I'll, I'll brush up on my you know V six engines. And <laughs> uh, uh, you got to know the Kelly Blue Book. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, we got Kelly on the line already. Yeah, yeah we got KBB on on <laughs> seventeen hundred. Yeah. That's why we can't take two hundred. Absolutely not. Jared actually I mean, has point. a Kelly Blue Book on him Whoa. in his office. Well, then it should, desk. Then should be yeah. is easy said or is easy done as it is said. If you've got well, the then it would be it's as easy done as it is read. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He starts asking you questions about the car. You're just like. Here's a Kelly Blue Book. Yeah. I got to talk to my buddy Kelly. Yeah. yeah. It's dog eared. Yeah. <laughs> 1700, take it or leave it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I just, uh, just the wheeling and dealing, the negotiating. What's, like. what, what do you, is it, is it more so the confrontation of if he counters you? Uh, you yeah. I just, the whole interaction, just awkward. Yeah. It, yeah it on, just, the, on the listing, you could go like firm. Yeah. yeah you could go, or, keys are in it. Leave the cash in, you know, in front of apartment <laughs> 301. <laughs> Keys are going to take it for a test drive. Just leave the cash at my door. Right. Yeah. I'll take anything. But if you want to avoid the ne- negotiation, just put firm on the listing. That usually does the trick. Avoid OBO. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. No OBO. <laughs> no OBO. <laughs> no bow. No bow. Yeah. <laughs> no or best offer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no or best offer. Or it just would be no, no offers. <laughs> a firm no, but I'll take a best offer. I mean, you just don't list a price and then just put B.O. Best yeah. offer. Firm O.B.O. <laughs> <laughs> but you will be firm on whatever best offer it is. Right. Yeah, whatever O.B.O. you give out is yeah. got to be, be firm. Like one or two word answers. Because if it's be soft, firm. it's no deal. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Be hard as a rock. Yeah, they're, they have to be firm. Yeah, seventeen hundred. Their offer better be firm, not yours. Right, seventeen hundred, not soft. Right. If my mom was selling your car, let's say we listed for what? What would you list it for? Probably twelve hundred bucks, thirteen hundred. Twelve hundred bucks. She would literally put in the title, twelve hundred bucks or or whatever you want to pay for it. (laughs) (laughs) It's negotiable. Mm -hmm. Seriously, make me an offer is what the title of the (laughs) smiley face at the end. Two thousand six Chevy Cruze. Or best offer. Seriously, it's negotiable. Make me an offer. I don't want to sell it for twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Whatever cash in your wallet is probably fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whatever you're feeling that day. I'll even take a fucking coupon for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I get it though. I mean, it's like you gotta have the title, you gotta have catalytic converter in there, you got you know, you gotta have AC. Yeah, you got you gotta have that. your your tech. You're like, gonna that. need to disclose that, Jared. That's, That's why I'm gonna, selling the winter. That's true. That's true. <laughs> also, Are you though, Jerry? You're bucks. running out of winter. I know I am. Who's going to pay 1200 bucks for a car without AC? Yeah. Where do you got to be at? HVAC pack. Yeah, I don't know. He's here? Yeah, he, he, I, it, he, it has gotten just quick. It has down. gotten cooler in here in the last 2 minutes. Yeah, it's humming. Is he is he standing right there? Mm-mm. Oh. He, he just walked away. The next time he comes, you should pull him in here and so I can ask him what was going on. Okay. And yeah, 
Talk. Gotta get to the bottom of yeah. this. We got a special guest today. What if there was like, what if they were like, yeah, you had a fucking rain raccoon in the HVAC unit? <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't surprise me after what happened last week. What happened last week? We had a mouse in the refrigerator motor. Oh, killed, that's what happened in the it. fridge? Yeah. Fridge went out last Friday. It was 68 to 73 degrees in that fridge. Oh, shit. That the sounds... fan was still going. Lights were still on. Everything still worked. Mouse's office was by. cooler than the fridge. It was. Yeah, actually, yeah. it actually was. It really was. was. <laughs> Yeah, fucking yeah, mouse crawl. Everyone brought the beer up to my office to cool it off. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the cold air now. Yeah, it's yeah. Now, know. what if it goes to like 58? I just, I, it's just what's going to happen. I know it. Yeah. Billable hours. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe they're just getting you for some BH. <laughs> yeah, maybe I got to be more specific. I keep going. It's like, it's too hot in here. Can we cool it off? Then they cool it off. Then it's, you know, I got to be like, I want it at 70 degrees or 68 yeah. degrees. I want this entire building. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. Maybe. Wow. I'm confident. It, well, does, it does feel better. Oh, yeah. It was going to be a nice break. Let's take a break. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, hey, hello. you know what's easier said than done? Probably getting a cookie cup. No, I wasn't going to go with that. <laughs> oh. I, I was going to say not passing gas. Oh, yeah. And big time. Big Way time. easier say to that, I'm going to pass gas than it is to, <laughs> to not. Then it. You had it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's way yeah. easier to say that than to actually pass gas. Every It's every time I pass a holiday gas station. My wheel just automatically turns, <laughs> and I don't even have self-driving car. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, you don't. Know yeah, that's crazy. And you know what I love to get these days? What's that, Jared? Any three cookies, three pack, or cookie, cookie cup for a dollar ninety nine? Cookies, cookie cup. You know what they call me at my local holiday? Cookie, <laughs> cookie monster, cookie monster. Yeah. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. And sometimes I just wear a blue coat when I go in there too, yeah. just to really play the part. Yeah, and you, you always pay in two dollar like bills coat. too. Buck and I've yet. never left the store without eating them all. <laughs> yeah, I mean, by the time I do tap to pay because that's the best payment option. Mm-hmm. Tap to pay into the wallet. Cookies down, then I walk out. Well, with, every time. Yeah, with this deal too, the lines are going to be out the door. So you're going to have to sit there and wait and have a cookie cup. Yeah, either that or just get right back in line with another round of cookies. Yeah. You know what you could do is you could make a for real in the for real machine and throw the co- crush the cookie cup up in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Ice cream, cookies and ice cream. Um, What was the deal again? Uh, I just forget because all of them Any the three pack. Yeah, buy any three cookies, three pack or cookie cup for $1.99. That's I mean, less than a buck They're basically cookie. giving away free cookies. Mm-hmm. That's uh, that's 199 pennies is all that it costs. <laughs> right. Yeah, less than a buck of cookie. Oh yeah, you could probably <laughs> find 199 pennies just laying around. Too. Probably. I mean, if I had a penny for every time the HVAC went out, I'd be able to buy cookies no problem. <laughs> yeah, you could probably buy the hot. Ho- yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, don't pass gas. Turn it into the to the holiday gas stations. Get yourself some cookies. All right, Jared, what do you got for us? Courtesy Flush asks, uh, what are people not talking enough about? Hmm. Taylor Swift. (laughs) I need a little more. (laughs) It's a good one, Miles. (laughs) <laughs> you're just you're saying that because you're trying to waste time to think filler, you're you right filler? yeah and yeah. you're commenting on it so you have time yeah. <laughs> so remind the listeners what the question was again <laughs> and, and who and who it came from that's important all right well. courtesy flash ask what are people not talking enough that's about? a funny name yeah <laughs> <laughs> guys if you want to yeah. be a patron <laughs> yeah we talked if about you guys it. do want to submit questions go to patreon.com slash you bet your radio <laughs> And you can. What was the question again for the listeners? So we got a guy named Courtesy Flush, and he asks, what are people not talking enough about? Uh, People aren't talking enough about that lady that debunked the Mandela effect with Fruit of the Loom. Like, so she was, she kept saying she swore that Fruit of the Loom had a cornucopia in the logo, right? And she couldn't find it anywhere. She went so far as to reach out to Fruit of the Loom. And Fruit of the Loom, the company, was like, no, we never had a cornucopia. And then at a rummage sale or some shit, she found Fruit of the Loom with the cornucopia in the logo. Boom. Debunked. So why the hell are Fruit of the Loom lying to her? 
could be counterfeit. Yeah, but what counterfeiter from way back in the day? I'm just saying it could be. Jerk, jerk, can you Google what a, a cornucopia is? <laughs> <laughs> for the listeners. Yeah, because I know I'm not the only one there, thinking about no, this. Yeah. For anyone that doesn't know what a cornucopia is, we're going to show you right now on this audio <laughs> podcast. It's like a little, it looks like a wizard's hat, but it's like a basket. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks like a bugle. With yeah, fruit it's a in bugle. It. Yeah, it's the thing from the fruit it's of a, the loom it's, logo. It's, yeah. it's a wicker bugle. Yeah. Instead of a pumpkin, it's a gourd. Instead of a grape, it's a raisin. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a bugle around all of them. Okay. So mm. they, they're saying they Where the net. fuck did you get this giant bugle? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take a Tastes bite like out shit, of it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes like wicker. <laughs> <laughs> what wicker. is wicker? Wicker. What is wicker? <laughs> I I I think it, it it's what I mean. I'm not even gonna try because uh, method, method of weaving. So it's not a thing. It's a it's a it, practice. It's a method. Yeah. What is wicker made of? First drop down. Wicker is a weaving process, not a material. Hmm. Good to know. Very good. To so know. I could fucking wicker up a couple of ice mountain bottles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you could. Yeah, you could. That's more of a verb than a noun. It's more of a lifestyle than it is anything. (laughs) Also interchangeable with whisker. Yeah, without the H. Yeah. Yep. You usually use willow, rattan, reed, or bamboo. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That checks out. Hmm. Rattan. Am I saying that right? Rattan? Rattan. Looks like rattan. Two T's. What was the what? Were, how did we get here? So this lady <laughs> debunked this Mandela effect. Oh, yeah, the cornucopia. Oh, the cornucopia. So now you know what cornucopia is and how it's made. And then I'm pretty sure he made it to Joe. Joe Rogan was talking about it, and his theory is that the government uses the Mandela effect to see what we can convince the masses of. You've been, you've been watching too much Rogan. It's, it says pyramid guy. Wow, that's valid. Yeah. So was this? <laughs> yeah. The, the, the pyramid thing is hard data. You're talking conspiracy now. Well, I mean, right. and not enough people are talking about the pyramids themselves. People but. are not talking. People aren't talking enough about how much as a human species we don't know that we act like we do know. Yeah. If the earth has been around as long as it has, so much crazy shit could have happened that we don't know about. Correct. But there's a lot of people who think they do know about it. I know. It's the worst. Just admit. We don't have to know what happened. We may never. But just act like, no, this is how it is. I mean, dinosaurs are a prime example. What we learn about dinosaurs as a kid, as we've all found out now, it's just, we don't know. We're guessing. Mm -hmm. Like, they taught it to us as fact when we were in elementary school. That's a good point. And now scientists are like, well, they might have had feathers. It might have been a meteor. We're not really sure. Yeah. It's fucked up, man. That is correct. That's wild. My fucking my brain is mush thinking about that. Yeah. So much mush that you can't come up with one. <laughs> <laughs> what aren't people talking enough about, Ryan? I want you to think deep, long, and hard. I mean, I could bring every conspiracy theory up in the book. You talk about aliens, right? What's the government know that we don't? I would actually say it's now getting the appropriate attention it needs. No, I agree, I but like it comes in TikTok, waves, though. I think it just be that I'm on alien talk, <laughs> but I see a lot of stuff about aliens now on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't see anything unless unless my buddy Joe is talking about it. <laughs> I see quite a bit. But it, I feel like it comes in waves, too. I've also seen Tucker Carlson talk about how he says he knows stuff about aliens that he's heard from government officials that he he just he he can't he's say too scared to he's talk about. Yeah, he doesn't scared to yeah. talk about in public. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, maybe he signed an NDA with them. Yeah, yeah you know, well, it's very confusing. But behind his paywall, he'll tell you what he saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, you know what? Fuck the government. I'm gonna say it on my Patreon. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, not enough people are talking about how it's almost undeniable that the CIA killed JFK, and they're still operating. As a government well, agency. Well, I heard it was the FBI. 
No, it was CIA. I heard it was Leo Harvey Oswald. You did hear that. That's what they wanted. <laughs> yeah, I heard it was <laughs> Jackson Ruby. He was a patsy. He said it Jack himself. Ruby killed so Lee Harvey he said Oswald. it, I believe him. To cover yeah, it up, though. It. Mob. Yeah. <laughs> Lee Harvey Oswald said he was a patsy, so we have to believe him. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the historians say it. Mm -hmm. Nope. This is That didn't happen in history. I, because I said it, it's true. <laughs> so. It's like a patsy. Um, Foppy Desk asks, who would win in a cannonball run driving race from L.A. to New York City? Oh, what? Cannonball run. That's when you drive from. For the listeners, what is that? It's when you drive from L.A. to New York or New York to L.A. Yeah, vice versa. Why is it Same called route. a cannonball run? I have no idea. I don't know. That's what is the term for it. Oh, it's a movie from Jake. Oh, OK. So repeat the question. Now I now who, I got the context. Who would win in a cannonball run? Ryan, me. He's got the heaviest foot of the. Group. No, he's getting in an accident. How are you supposed to finish the cannonball run when your car is on fire? I mean, he is. Check the track record, though. He is notable for avoiding accidents. He's herky jerky, though. <laughs> you know, that's a lot of miles. We've never tested him on that long of a data set. You know. Yeah. You know? Not me. I get too distracted by all the cool shit, and I'd probably go into the. You ditch would at hit some every place. roadside attraction. Yep. <laughs> yeah, all of the world's largest balls. Of but yard. you are also built for that more yeah. than Ryan are. I wouldn't get bored. You wouldn't. You would be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, but you can. Also, I think you can also stay up the longest. The, you know what they say: the man who loves driving will drive further than the man who loves the destination. That is true. So, but, but also, it's not about how far; it's about how fast. True. So this actually is about the destination. Yeah. <laughs> So if the thing was who can drive the longest, then you win. Yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> Which isn't the question. So you know, <laughs> I still, I, I still picked you. No, I know you did. I thanks, Tyler. Yeah. Never Jared will fall shot. asleep at the wheel in matter Dead. of yeah. Three well, hours. Chevy Cruz wouldn't even start, so he wouldn't even get going. I don't think Jared could get. <laughs> I don't think Jared could get from here to Minneapolis <laughs> without taking without, a nap without a road stop. Yeah, falling asleep. It would be like tortoise in the hair or whatever that is. Uh, <laughs> it'd be like rat race. You ever seen the movie Rat Race? Yeah, with John Lovitz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, is Cannonball Race the the movie where they like actually they're like he's like literally trying to speed across the country and like there's a fuel truck that shows up and refuels him while he's driving. That would be the only plan. person that can give us any background. Like. I would I would dipe up and I would have a fuel truck following me the whole time. Oh yeah. Then I'd win. See, I outsmarted you, Ryan. You have to stop to pee and do all that stuff. I mean, if we started right at this second, yes. But if we have time to prepare, I think. I mean, I, I'm going to think of that stuff. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm gonna. I mean, I'll, I'll have a. Well, I guess. Weight low, like weight is considerable factor too. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that? No, 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 no. no. I'm so, dude. You so didn't let me finish. So you're shit. saying? No, you didn't let me finish. Now, either one, my car is going to get less gas mileage because I am in it. You Two, didn't let me my car isn't be able to go as fast as yours because I'm in it. <laughs> is that what you're saying? That's what it Two, sounded Where like. I was Two. going with that in terms of like supplies that you need to stay alive water <laughs> and we're gonna drive slower because you have to eat more yeah. miles yeah, miles, no. miles has got to pack twinkies and big macs Cookie cups he's gonna have to fucking uh, his fucking ice cream how's he gonna keep that cold <laughs> well, you have to have a freezer that would really weigh you down <laughs> You guys didn't let me finish where I was going. We <laughs> did, and then you brought up food. Because <laughs> I'm saying it didn't get better. I would no. say what I was gonna say is I would have every essential I need in my vehicle, whether that's a pallet of Celsius or a pallet of fucking trail mix, whatever I need. What, you know, where did the weight mountain. thing go? <laughs> yeah, a pallet. <laughs> what do you mean? You say you're gonna have a pallet in your car. Don't you think that's gonna weigh it down? Right. That way, I'd it like will, to yeah. think that that weighs more than I do. It, 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 and that's that, that's what I was that's where that's what I was reflecting. But right? you started with it's like we got there's weight to consider, and we're wondering what weight we have to consider. Yeah, and I was I would, also that was how long do you think this trip is gonna take? That you need a pallet of Celsius. It's gonna be like five. Well, I mean, it, it's like my parents are driving to Southern California like tomorrow. It's going to take them two and a half days to get there. That's it's not going to take more than five, six days to get there. You need a pallet of Celsius for that. 
I mean, it was probably just exaggerating for the bit itself, but maybe like a couple cases. Oh, now he gets serious. Maybe like a couple <laughs> cases. It all serious. I mean, I oh, I exaggerate one time. A pallet? <laughs> no, maybe a couple, maybe one case. Maybe like a two, buy two, get one free. At a holiday. At a holiday. It's going to be hard though, because we're... What, it says We're, without. We can't pass gas, Ryan. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> we have to turn into every holiday gas station. <laughs> that is true. But by the time I leave, the cookie cup's already gone, so I need to re up. <laughs> you know, <sighs> Tyler, what is that? What, you're looking up the distance. Yeah, three thousand miles from Los Angeles, California, to New York City, nonstop. It's only forty-one hours. Why is it New York and not Maine? Because Maine's farther than New York. Those are the two big cities on each coast. It's a cannonball run, duh. <laughs> it's 2000. 2000- Jesus Christ, it's not a fucking LA to Maine run. It's a cannonball <laughs> run. 2,789 miles. It's like you didn't even listen to the question. <laughs> it's a Maine to LA run. <laughs> That was a good one. It's not a Civil War cannonball run. It's just a cannonball run. <laughs> right. Uh, um, Touche. <laughs> Anita Reyes asks, <laughs> if YBR releases action figures for everyone, what are the accessories included for each person? I.e. Right Mood Ryan would include the Carhartt vest. Oh, yeah. You'd be vested up. <laughs> yeah, vested up for sure. Um, portable sauna. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah like a whole set would just be his garage so that yeah. would be it and it would yeah. have a workout set it'd have a cold plunge it would have a sauna yeah i think yeah and more instead of like a figurine it's more of like a lego set that you'd build out <laughs> of, of me <laughs> why why what's the deal why does it have to be a lego set well i mean you a figurine and you include my whole garage you let's build that thing out we're talking like Except like, you like, know, like Barbie comes as a set. You get like the pl- the house. Okay, and, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I haven't bought many Barbies lately. So that kind of... I don't... <laughs> <laughs> you really are a piece of shit right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Tyler would for sure have his go bag. Yep. Yeah, just a it'd be survival duffel. Tyler, what yeah. it would be. Yeah. His face is painted. Yep. He'd have the it would come with his shelter. Paint. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. And the coordinates to it. Well, then you'd have to have a black. No, phone. that would be part of it is you'd have to, f- there would be like clues in it. You'd yeah. have to figure out the coordinates based off the clues. Yeah. I think I would like to have a small town bar setting. Come with that with some pull tabs, some beers. Um, Denim sh- button up denim shirt. Pocket watch. Yeah, yeah pocket sure. watch is a good one. <laughs> Imagine rocking a pocket watch with what I'm wearing. Right now. <laughs> How crazy that would be. You just put it in your pocket like a wallet chain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then people would just think you had a wallet chain. <laughs> yeah, pocket watch and one AirPod. <laughs> <laughs> the one AirPod thing is insane. I don't think it's insane. That's like when I mean, we were insane, that's but. like when we were in like high school and like the iPhone came with the corded headphones. Kids would plug it into their iPhone in their pocket mm-hmm. and then they'd run it up their shirt through their long sleeve and then they would go like this and listen to music yeah. during class with their <laughs> thing like that. Yeah. This is so obvious. Yeah, you just couldn't get enough young Jeezy through <laughs> <laughs> or Akon, yeah. you know? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> from 3 p.m. to when you went to bed that night, you couldn't get enough of a drop it like it's hot. <laughs> yeah. You had to be listening to it during school. During yeah. History. Fucking Cyclone by Baby Bash on repeat. <laughs> 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 yeah. Or it was like that, just having the uh, the uh, beats by Dre around your neck and then like, nothing's playing, but it's just, it's just the accessory at that point. Mm-hmm. It's like a fighting necklace. It's like yeah. The candy red ones. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Jared would have a king mattress. Oh, I'll give you that. And some and lotion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'd be, it, it would be a, a collab set with Jergens. <laughs> the Jergens uh, box. And then just a coffin as part of the set. <laughs> <laughs> no, he would his his character would be able to bend in all sorts of ways. Yeah. 
Be able to put him on his knees, put him on his back. Yeah, one knee not one knee down and one leg up. <laughs> I mean, he would look like some old bi- this thing would look like some old bio. Exactly. Yeah. They would just be able to repurpose the material they use for the gymnast set. Yeah. Yeah. For Jared's character. Right. Jake's would just come with a uh, an Olympic swimming pool. Yep. Yeah, no, no, Jake's wouldn't come with anything. He would just be wearing a Speedo. <laughs> yeah, no, he would come with like a bottle of Nair. So that, that's the Nair box. Speedo, yeah. a box of Nair. And probably one razor. Yep. For him and all of his buddies. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like, you know how like they do, they do like Barbies that you can like cut their hair and whatever. Mm-hmm. It'd be like, you, you, the first time you get Jake, you can shave him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or Nair him. You can Nair him too. Yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah. It'll grow back if you shave it. If you Nair, it's gone <laughs> forever. Give him a landing strip, you know? <laughs> You can buy like replaceable hair packs. Put it, put it back yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just That's crank, you you just off, crank his arm. <laughs> <laughs> it will be two cranking mechanisms. Jared's will be much different than Jake's. <laughs> Jake's, you'd crank it and his hair would grow back. So you could shave him again. It's like a chia That's pet. a good one. Yeah, like a chia pet. <laughs> yeah, they, they should just make a Jake chia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, essentially, it would be a partnership with with Nair and Chia. <laughs> Chia big Chia. So, yeah. Uh, That's all we got. All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Bet Your Radio. Is that it? Yeah. Nothing else? It's cooled down a lot in here. Hey, I'm getting, yeah, it, yeah, it like, starting to get a little chilly. I think we should wait for the HVAC guy to pop his head in here one more time. <laughs> we here till tomorrow morning. <laughs> Just waiting. No, he'll be back again today. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in, guys. May. Mm. Your body be nared. And what did we talk about at the beginning? And your HVAC work. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>